What's going on everyone? This video is all about Deep Rock Galactic. This game is absolutely nuts. This is a game that you can sink hundreds, if not thousands of hours into for one price. We're not talking about a pay to win game. We're not talking about a game that you have to sink more money into to get enjoyment or fulfillment out of. We're talking about a video game that is so much fun and brings you so much value. You're going to want to give them your money at the end of the day. You're going to say, hey, take more of my money and give me more of this. Because other games out there, they just aren't doing what this game does. And it really shows. Because this game started as an early access game on Steam. And it's roughly been a little over a year out on console. So it has a really decent player base. It definitely has millions of copies sold, but I still run into people all the time who haven't heard of this game. And Really, this game just ticks all of the boxes that you want. Most of you have come to this channel or watch my videos for Overwatch content. This is a game that is in that category. It is a game that you play with your friends. It's a PvE game that just has replay value, right? But it does it a little bit differently. And for one, the fact that this game has seasonal content that you don't have to pay for, that is absolutely free, and when the seasonal content is over, it all gets incorporated right back into the game and becomes things that you're able to achieve through playing the game as normal content. And that is just mind blowing to me because in my last video, I talked about how I wish that Overwatch did this. I wish that they implemented content into the game that didn't disappear after the seasons were over, but that's neither here nor there, that's Overwatch. This game takes place on a space station that circles around an alien planet that you dive deep down into as dwarves and you go mining you complete missions and you can like i said you can do this solo or you can do this with your friends it has hades in binding of isaac elements it has these left for dead style type missions where you go in and you have an objective and there's basically a safe point that you leave and enter and it ends that chapter of the mission the missions are randomly generated. I would say it's like No Man's Sky in Left 4 Dead had a baby, but the game is a 15 out of 10 instead of any gripes you may have with both of those games. Because Left 4 Dead created a new style of PvE games that really scratched an itch that none of us knew that we had. And then just as quickly as it came, it vanished because no other game company really hit that nail on the head. They weren't really able to create the same type of game with the same type of impact. And the latest example of that is Redfall. Redfall is a complete mess. If you haven't seen that game, that is the new, you know, PvE exploration open world game that you can play with your friends that is very similar to the way Left 4 Dead would be and very similar to how this game is played. But no game out there even comes close to Deep Rock Galactic. The art style, the gameplay, the replayability, and just the pure essence that the developers put into this game to give people that play video games just the ultimate form of fun, the ultimate form of a video game, to be honest. Because for this genre, in this style of game, there is no better game. Your RPG elements that you have with leveling up your character, infinitely leveling up your character, you're able to prestige your character and just keep doing mission after mission after mission, and you get so many rewards for such a long time, up to the point where, you know, you max out the game. And there is end game content. You can go hunting for new uh, minerals and, and, and more money to purchase accessories and different cosmetics. Yes, cosmetics you don't have to purchase in the shop. You can really go into the game and just collect hundreds of pieces for different dwarves that you want to customize. There's four different classes in the game and they keep adding weapons and gear and looks and seasonal content. And really this game just, it, it blows me away. It's just a fantastic game, guys. I'm ranting about it because I want you to play it. Just everything about the game. I mean, I, could, I couldn't give it enough praise. There are so many fun elements in this game, whether it be walking up to a fake bar that's in the space station where you can order different beers that do crazy different things, but it's, it's just for fun. It, it's just for fun. And speaking of fun, the community of Deep Rock Galactic is unlike any other community that I've come across. And I think I figured out why. And once again, 
It's because of the developers. It's something that they have done that no other games have really achieved. They make the game. They make the characters in the game fun to talk to. Meaning they talk to each other and they are very expressive and always making fun of each other, messing around. They're very vocal about different things that you do. If you shoot someone accidentally, you know, they say something. They make jokes all the time. And because they built this into the game, when you're playing this game and you're participating and you are one of these dwarves, you want to be nice. You want to be friendly. You want to mess around with your teammates. And really, it becomes an experience with very little toxicity. Out of all of the time that I have spent in this game, I've come across maybe one or two toxic players. And that leads me to another thing that the developers have just done perfectly that I know a lot of you are upset with when it comes to other PvE style games. And that is the way that the lobbies work. You can create your own lobby or you can join a lobby. And it's really that simple. You make a lobby, you're in control of it. If someone enters and does something that you don't like, you kick them. And yes, it does take a second for people to join your lobby most of the time. But if you're not in the mood to do that, which you don't have to be, because like I said, you're not gonna run into many situations where you can't just join a game and have fun. Sometimes you want to get a mission done really quickly and you join a game that is already a little further along. And yes, that counts as a completion. It's really up to player choice this game is massive when it comes to player choice, and they're going to continue to come out with different things for this game. Seasonal content, weapons, things that we don't really know about, different missions. All of those things have been added since the original release of the game, have, have been added as DLC seasonal content, which is just fantastic. When it comes back to these lobbies and the way that you join or create them, one of the most interesting things that I found about this game, with all of that other stuff that we just talked about to the side, is the way the missions work when it comes to the map. I'll, I'll put the map on screen for you here. This map rotates every 30 minutes because the space station is rotating around the planet and only specific areas are available for you to get into your drop pod to shoot down in there and drill in there to activate missions. Now, every mission type is available Oh, at all times, like, don't get me wrong, it's not like on the map here, you're not able to do specific missions or, or specific mission types. It's just the biomes and the different minerals that you can collect down there that rotate every 30 minutes. And I will tell you that there is only one caveat. If you join a mission or you create a mission with, let's say, two minutes on that timer, well, when they rotate, there really isn't anyone out there that can join your mission anymore. So if you're looking to go into the mine and have different people join later, well, if you time it wrong, you're out of luck and no one's gonna be down there to save you. So that's something to keep in mind, but it's, it's not really a big issue. That is the smallest gripe and the only one that I could come up with here. Because bug-wise, there really isn't that many, besides all of the bugs that you destroy in the actual game, which there are a lot of them. And that lets me come to enemy variety, because enemy variety in this game is nuts. There's different variations that go on your missions, like I said before, like Binding of Isaac or Hades, and they can be good or they can be bad. So you could be looking for a mission and you could go through the filters here and you could say, hey, I want a double experience mission. Well, you can find them. You can find double XP missions if you're trying to grind your XP and, and level up a different dwarf, a different class. Or if you want it to be more challenging, you can find different variations that make the levels a lot harder. But with risk comes reward. The more difficulty that you up the ante to, the more money, the more minerals, the more things that you get back if you can complete. You are in complete control with this game to the point where, yes, mods are built into the game. You don't have to do anything special. There are approved mods from the developers that you can add to your game and still play online. And I'll just give you a quick example. Uh, a damage counter from when you're shooting. When you shoot and you hit bugs, it tells you how much damage you do. Something really perfect like that. Or let's say you, you know, you want the caves to be a little brighter when it comes to specific objects that you're trying to find, because you just find it a little hard to find them, because this game's motto is Danger Darkness Dwarves, and let me tell you, it is dark down there. So you might want a mod that just brightens up those items. And those are the types of things that you can do. 
and there really isn't a limit to this. You're able to add other mods and make your own custom games to the point where you can do crazy things. You can just make the game the way that you want it to be to play outside of the main game that they have for you. So like I said, if you guys haven't played this game and you like PVE style games that you can play with your friend, this is a game that if we give it enough attention and if we show the developers that they have done something that no other game company has really tried to achieve because they're really money hungry. This is a game that is all about the players. It's all about us. And because of that, we give back to the game. I want to give my money to this game. I want to buy cosmetics because that's the only thing to buy in the shop. There is no pay to win. It's just, if you like the game, you can buy some cosmetics and they are not overpriced. We're talking $5 to $8 for like a whole set that fills up your dwarves. And it's just wild because I'm trying to find something to talk about negatively when it comes to an overall aspect of the game. And there, there just isn't one. There isn't one. This is a perfect game, 15 out of 10 video game. And it's one that we are going to be talking about here on the channel. I'm going to be making guides and class guides and, and a bunch of different things. We're going to talk about this game just like I've talked about Overwatch. And well, I think I've ranted long enough about this video. Go try it out. It's on sale on Steam quite often, and I believe it's at a $40, $30 price point. It's not that expensive, and it is 100% worth it. And if you don't believe me, if this video is not enough to convince you, please just go check out the reviews on Steam. You'll get everything you need to know right there. And with that said, I'm going to leave you with one of my favorite reviews that I've ever come across. This is from someone that has played almost 3,000 hours of the game. Shoot bug, hit shiny rock, make number bigger, video game. That's what this game is. 3,000 hours plus of enjoyment for you and your friends for a really low price. So go check out Deep Rock Galactic. I couldn't give it enough praise. And if you're looking for more Deep Rock Galactic content, we're going to be starting a lot more of that here on the channel, along with Overwatch and a few other games. Speaking of other games, I'm sure a lot of you out there right now are excited to be playing Tears of the Kingdom. If you're interested, I'm going to be live streaming my entire playthrough of that game. By the time you're watching this video, the second one is probably up and running, but we're going to be playing the game pretty much every single day. I'm not going to play a second of that game off of live streaming here on YouTube. So stick around, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Flash out.